Hello, welcome to Country Farmhouse Quilting. I'm Marnay and today I am featuring a quilt that I made. This is the linen and berries quilt that I put together for my mom's friend Kay. Uh, I've been working on this for a long time and, I, and some of you may have saw this in a previous video um, where I was creating a beautiful scrappy quilt top. I get that right. So anyway, I did show in a previous video of the blocks that I was putting together. This this quilt was a very tedious quilt because I have done all of the cutting, all of the sewing, all of the retrimming, and the sewing back together to make these wonderful designs in this quilt. Um, this quilt did come from a magazine that uh, my mom's friend Kay brought to me. It's called Sunday Best Quilts. And the quilt in this book was called Linens and Berries. And I will kind of give you a look at the quilt. And I think there's a full page in here that I can show you as well, the finished quilt top. So it looks very close, but in the book, I think the, the quilt in the book had more red tones. This one has more pink tones. and. These fabrics that Kay brought to me that I cut up were all Moda fabrics, beautiful fabrics. So I cut them all up into as little as two and a half inch blocks. And I think I cut like 400 to make these little um, nine patches here. And then these were seven and a half inch blocks and they were cut diagonally in two. Well, actually I'd sewed a line down each side and then cut it in two to make the half square triangles and putting it together. So this was a lot of work <laughs> and I am super excited to be really showcasing it today to show you the finished quilt. Um, I wish I had had more when I began this quilt, but filming, I don't know, I, I should have filmed some things, but I did show um, some film in my beautiful scrappy quilt top um, of some of the cutting and the trimming that I did on some of these blocks. But this quilt was very much a process. Um, I'm not a pattern girl by no by no means, and my my seams aren't exactly um perfect on this because there is a lot of little pieces. But I think as far as getting it together, everything lines up really close on my points and stuff. So Kay wants a uh, flower design on this, and I'm going to use a white thread, and um, we're gonna pick out a really pretty flower design to put on this because this is for Kay and it's very, very a feminine quilt. And the back that she cho chose, my mom helped her pick it out and it is in like a mint green. So when I get this off the quilter, I will show you the finished results of this. So we are gonna go ahead and get this on the quilter. I'm really excited to get this quilt done for her. So I'll get back with you. I am on row five of the scrappy quilt top out of the Sunday Best quilts. And I figured this is a good time to kind of go over some of the detail since I just ran out of bobbin threads. So I'm just gonna let you have a look, um, a close up of some of the designs and some of my handiwork stitching. <laughs> So I'm just going to kind of go across and as you can see on the back here, I do have that mint green on the back. A very simple design, has like little leaf vines in it, but you can see some of the quilting in this. So the quilt, the quilting that I picked for this, the quilting pattern is called Flowers and Swirls. And I thought it was a great pattern to pick for this quilt because the curves the swirls, the flowers touch every block. So if I can kind of zoom in here, you can kind of see this stitching goes over every block and there's a lot of little blocks, half square triangles in this and I really wanted it to be together. And there you can see a really nice um, design of the flowers and the swirling. And the batting that she chose for this quilt is a lightweight um, batting. So it's gonna make it very light so this will be a nice, lightweight, springy summer quilt for Kay's bed. So I just want you to see some of the colors. I'm gonna kind of back up and let you see the drape on my quilter. Uh, it's looking very beautiful. Hello, welcome to my farmhouse sewing room. I'm Marnay and I have a showcase quilt to show you. 
So this quote behind me, I did a video on here um, maybe a month or so ago, and it was called Creating a Beautiful Scrappy Quilt Top, where I told you about the blocks that I was putting together out of the Moda fabrics for my mom's friend Kay. And this pattern came out of Sunday Best Quilts, and this is the quilt. I made this quilt from start to finish, and believe me, it was a challenge. This is what it looks like in the book. The book has more of a red tone, and this one has more of a pink tone. Kay brought me these fabrics last year, and they were Moda fabrics, a whole pile, beautiful, and she wanted this quilt, and really, I didn't know if I could pull this off because I am not like a pattern girl, but I wanted to do it for her, and I worked on this for a long time, and it really turned out beautiful. As you can see, all the blocks here, it looks just like the book, the, the size, the fabric size in this was pretty true to size. It measures out at 72 and a half by 90 and a half. Mine is very close. Um, when we quilted this, I put the flowers and swirls quilting pattern on it, which I thought was very fitting because there are so many piece blocks in this and I wanted that, that quilting pattern to cover every block that was on here to, to really keep this down. She chose a really light batting for this quilt. Um, it's not a cotton, it's very um, synthetic, so it makes it very puffy and, and really nice. Um, the binding, I did a rollover binding. I am not a good binder, so I did the, I rolled over the back to the front and I machine stitched it down. Um, not bad for an amateur, <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm gonna show you the back. Um, my mom helped Kay pick out this beautiful mint green and you can really see the, the flowers in this, the flowers and swirls. This is a very feminine quilt, very girly. Um, I will get some pictures um, to show you the details of this quilt, but I think it really turned out fabulous and I love it. If you, if you enjoyed this little video skit, please like and please subscribe and email us at countryfarmhousequilting at gmail.com and let me know what we can quilt for you. Have a great day.